Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back tomorrow. Take a trip. Pick a car. It's the morning. We're getting ready to go to or late morning. We're getting ready to go to brunch. Now. So we're playing uh, with some cards and toys and games. You can see Lake Michigan right there. This is where we were playing with the drone last time. But we're going to some place called Toasty. I thought it was like Toasty, but it's Toasty. Italian Cafe. Here's the menu and the inside. Very cool. We actually came here last time with the arts. They got the cool, all the casing and stuff. It's Sunday, early, uh, late afternoon, so. Late morning, so a lot of the pastries are gone, but very good Italian deli. We got French toast coming, and other truck muffaletta, and some drinks. Whoa! Dude's just chasing after the kids. We're gonna eat our little breakfast items on these benches before we head home. It's nice, 70 degrees. It's a little bit like cloudier today, but it's still just so nice to be outside, right, Jamesy? Good, good, good. So they didn't have the vegetable for the artichoke muffaletta, so I got a vegetable. Yummy. Yes. And then I got the three piece because this is what we're gonna share with James. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Oh. That looks delicious. Oh my god. French toast. That's the most ridiculous looking French toast I've ever seen. <laughs> it's cinnamon French toast. Look at this beautiful bag. It smells amazing. Wow. Coming in, Ooh, we're getting some gas, and we're heading back to the city. Really good, like 25 hour trip to the Earhart's. Really great seeing them. The whole reason this came about was I texted them being like, do you wanna make sure we come up before Teddy? And they were like, today's beautiful, why not today? So like I expected it to be a little bit closer, but I mean, it's we only have <laughs> like three weeks left. That's wild. What? There's Navy Pier. Whoop whoop. And it's a dreary day, but I actually I vibe off this weather for some reason. If it's like my inner wannabe Seattle and Seattler? What is someone from Seattle called? Seattle land. Seattle land. <laughs> we are home safe. We got a few packages waiting for us. Look. Yes. Newborn diapers. Okay. Two boxes of that. Some more bottle stuff. Cards, this is, this is organizing the stuff. The Teddy, it's like getting ready for Teddy. Okay. I started talking about it. That's small. Yeah. Okay. So this is a nightlight. We're gonna make my dresser like a little changing table station. Yeah. And so we have like a Moses basket coming today. That'll be there. And then this is a diaper caddy that we'll be able to bring from our room out here. And then this actually, I shouldn't pick it up probably. No, it's, there's a cart that I'm gonna build later. Yeah, like a rolling cart. Yeah. Again, for like my pumping stuff and for just storage. And this is a new nursing cover. I'm excited. So is this mom's cart or is this now Jamesy's cart as he finds things? Oh, good job. Anything better than a toddler playing with their toys on a quiet Sunday afternoon? It's 
We're making our way over to the field. <laughs> I'm so proud it's of us. Top of the fifth. It's also, I didn't tell you this, it's our last game until the Crosstown Classic oh next gosh. Tuesday. So we have like a nine day break. We do have a, an event Thursday night for new season ticket holders. We have like a dinner and like, and they call it like a rookie mixer or something. Oh. So we'll get to go, I'm not sure where, but it's gonna be somewhere in the field or like oh. in the stadium. What are you telling us? Um, Look what Daisy's showing us. We're looking at all the stuff on the and the birds. He loves pigeons, yes. which I said because he likes villains. They're like the villains of the, the, city. the city's nature. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's the top of the fifth. We're making our way over there. Hopefully we'll get over there and get into our seats before the sixth, four, two. The yeah, hopefully our seats are a little dry. Here we are, coming up on Wrigley Field. Never heard of it. Good. Bottom of the fifth, look at that. More people here. Beautiful. Yay! And our seats. Seats were pretty dry. Feeling good. James is getting very accustomed to his water cup and his little cup holder. And just living the dream at Wrigley Field. Ooh, nice technique. <laughs> It's so good. All right, here we go. As Harry Carey leads us with Take Me Out to the Ball Game. in a moment here. It's the bottom of seventh now. It's still a double. It's just now, I think, in a couple minutes, we should go get Sarah and go down there and hang out Gallagher way for the rest of the game because it look, it's looking like a lot of fun. Woo there was a home run just now and everyone got up and cheered. James got really flustered not knowing what was going on. And now they're only losing by one. It's the bottom of the eighth. So hopefully they can get a, a couple more runs and win. All right, bottom of the ninth, trailing by one. We are in Gallagher Way. They have a cool like Netflix Ozark display that was here like today. Ah! Squat. Bottom of the ninth, base is loaded, two outs. Four, three, Cubs are down. Wait, the bases are loaded. The stress. Well, that's last shot. Struck out game over. That's all right, that was a fun time. Hi, Eve girl. We are home. This vlog is truly all over the place with our morning and Cubs game, but also opening what we got from Amazon. And there's another thing I want to show you guys. What is what is in this box? So the unboxing piece of this vlog continues with the changing pad we're gonna have for Teddy in our room. Oh, it's sturdy. It's heavier than I expected. James, he's immediately trying it out. Wow. Peter's, Peter's getting the window situated because the last time it's gonna be this nice in over a week. We got windows open. I got windows open in all the rooms except for all the one bedroom. I got windows in the kitchen. I got fans making cross breezes. We're soaking up this last bit of beautifulness before it gets cold again for the week. Alrighty, so I'm gonna do another easy cook with me tonight. And that will be the soy chorizo tacos that we absolutely love from Trader Joe's. <laughs> Hi, James. Hi. So we're gonna do those tacos with, I don't know what kind of toppings yet. I know we have a couple of things that we could do, but that's just getting heated up. So that'll be the last thing I make. Um, and then for the side dish, I'm gonna make fideo, which is like, 
is something that my family would, makes mostly my mom like I know for sure my mom um honestly I haven't made it since she's passed away and I feel like it's like one of those dishes that's gonna, gonna just like be emotional to eat because it tastes like she like it's gonna taste like she made it um but it's like Mexican pasta and I have like her directions that I probably just like called her for the year that we got married um so it's super simple it's like angel hair pasta tomato and onion it is super simple but it is super good but it takes a little bit longer so I'm gonna start with that we got a full onion diced cooking until it's clear I wish I had minced garlic that's what it called for I just used um powdered garlic but I'll put in salt and pepper. So this is gonna cook. I have it going in a little bit of vegetable oil. Another thing I just realized I don't have is a can of diced tomatoes. I assumed I had one. I have a paste and I have sauce, but no chopped tomatoes. So I'm going to use some fresh tomatoes and probably just more tomato juice than typical. But I'm a little bit worried. I mean, it's probably gonna be delicious because it's fresh but I'm just nervous it's not gonna taste the same. Um, so now I don't have as much time because before I just like crack open the, the can and pour it in. So I'm going to chop the tomatoes up really quick um, because this is kind of a, you have to do things in a certain order, this, this recipe. Okay, our onions are getting pretty clear. The next step is putting the pasta straight on top of the onions and then you break it up as you go, which seems like for Italian, like you don't break up your pasta. You don't want to burn it, but you just want to cook it until you can smell it cooking. I also forgot to mention this is not totally vegan because I will be using a beef bouillon cube. You could always use an alternative to that. Um, and there's plenty of great options out there. I don't have any, but I also do want to prioritize this tasting like I'm used to it tasting, so I am just gonna use the little, little beef bouillon cube today. This is real life. Do not make the same rookie mistake as I did and try to do it in a pot because you don't feel like washing a pan when you actually need a big pan to make this meal. You make a mess, all the pasta gets broken up everywhere and mid cooking you have to just wash the pan like you should have anyways to make it correctly so thankfully I was able to transfer it it's about it's almost ready for the next step but man I'm gonna have a mess to clean up but I could have really saved myself time and stress had I just done it the right way to begin with because I was worrying about the pan I didn't get to like chop the pasta up as little as I typically would like it to. Um, but once it's softer, maybe I'll get to do a little bit more, but I don't, also don't wanna mash it. So it might just be a little bit longer pasta than usual. Before I would I would have wanted it to be like an inch. Um, but yeah, I have some, I have some longer pieces, but it's starting to smell really good. I just put in the beef bouillon cube and the two two little cans of tomato juice and now I'm gonna put in my chopped tomatoes so I can hear it bubbling. I did add more tomato juice because my chopped tomatoes were fresh. They, there was obviously tomato juice from it but there wasn't as much juice as a can would have. So I added more tomato juice. Now that it's bubbling, I'm going to fill the pan with water until the pasta is covered and then it'll cook. All right. I just fold a bunch of laundry. We're on a very productive kick right now. And I think it'll be nice because I think once we have dinner and hang out with James, maybe give him a bath, I think tonight's bath night, and put him to sleep then like Sarah and I will probably be in a place to like just relax and soak up a little bit of the last moments of this nice weekend. Um, I just cleaned the toys with James, fold the laundry. We got minions starting now. The windows are open, it feels beautiful out. We wish we had a balcony to have dinner on, but this is gonna be great too. Also a huge shout out to Carolyn Earhart for getting me on this kick of Athletic Brewing Company. Um, it's been at the run, past couple run Disney weekends, but it's non-alcoholic beer and it has, it tastes so good and like real beer. I've tried about 
four different flavors I've tried. Um, but this is what I've been been drinking lately. So here are our toppings. I chopped up an avocado, not so pretty, but put lime juice on it with salt and some cherry tomatoes. We don't have any salsa, but this will do. Then lime. I'm I'm probably gonna put more lime on mine. And I also made this spicy sauce with jalapeno hummus because we are, you know, mostly plant-based. It's nice because it has a creamier base to it, the hummus. And then I just mixed it with a little bit of water, lime juice, and hot sauce. And so that'll be our little top sauce. Heated up the tortillas in the oven, and now I'm going to get everything out to the family room and then plate us up. Have you been vlogging at all? Yeah, I showed the whole thing. Oh, it's already shown? I showed my, well, I actually, I didn't show oh. the plate, but I showed my big old mess. It looks so good. You know what you do when your wife is three and a half weeks? away from giving birth to another child of yours. You go to the Jewel to get dessert when she says, I really could go for a dessert right now. Not sure what I'm getting, but I'm gonna get something. Daddy. Oh, what did he get? A French silk pie. From Jewel? Yeah. Sweet. Did you see me getting Eve to wag her tail in the window? Well, this weekend was not what we planned, but it was a great weekend. And with that, we're gonna get ready for bed. I'm gonna put James down, we're gonna go to sleep. I wish soup and wasn't over, but the weekend has to get over, I guess, right? Um, we literally did a lot for Teddy, so that felt great. And I had a lot of fun, it was amazing seeing the Air Hearts. It's amazing for it to be such nice weather in Chicago. I love the lakefront run I did. I had like seven, literally seven different appointments this weekend for my haircut that we just kept moving or canceling or moving or rebooking because of like our unexpected plans in Michigan and everything, but um, it will get dealt with swiftly. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.